Feng Huali stood in the cover of a palm tree holding her breath. Although the wizard and Nandini spoke in soft tones, their conversation mostly fell on her ears. When Nandini said that she did not believe that the sea contained the prince, the magician replied, Queen. You have never believed in my words. Why are you disbelieving now? He asked. Haven't you heard about the prince's horoscope powers? Even a little while ago, Kulaker Kavalbutta told about it. Madness. My magic power is stronger than the power of the planets and stars. Do they know that I conjured a whirlwind in the calm ocean? At first that Ken Chinagara man did not believe it. Later, when he drowned in the ocean, he must have believed it. Did you see him drown in the sea? What if I didn't see it? I saw the ship he was in on fire. Did the prince jump overboard to save him from the burning ship? Has the departed come back? Didn't come back to Palava's ship. What then? I left Vandiyadeva alive only to have both enemies killed on the same day. No matter what you say, I don't believe it. Something inside tells me that they are both still alive. Do you know Feng Kuzali? Well known. She was a nuisance to us in Sri Lanka. She might as well have gone into the whirlwind. That's not it. A little while ago a boat came in the distance. Rakamal saw it from the top of the lighthouse. Suddenly it disappeared. There seemed to be two or three people in the boat. Then take the old man and set off at once. I'll watch. What if we were? If the old man is there, he will do royal honors to the prince and take him away, and the whole thing will be ruined. Sorcerer. I too am asking. What is the need for them to die? If everyone agrees to crown Mad Hurand Hagen. Amini. Don't betray Penputi. Kanchi knows all our secrets. He will have told the prince too. Tell me to leave before daybreak. Rakama. If Pung Lai brings them, where will she keep them in the forest? There's a hidden hall. That's her private abode. That's where Kanji hid her for a whole day. Then I found it. Good, I also know where that hidden hall is. I will go and wait there. Queen. How is the emperor? Any news? Which emperor are you asking about? This mouth will never call Nwa Yelai Sundara Chola emperor. I only ask about our emperor. Ten days ago I got news that he was fine. Aha. Uh -huh. How long has it been since you saw? Okay, okay. Leave quickly. What is that stupid Palava going to do? We are going to take him to Tanjore too. Beware of him. Never mind him. He's waiting to do with his head what I did with my feet. However, it is better to be careful. You were a little fooled by Kanchi Atran Van Dye the Van, weren't you? That's true. That's why I want to see him alive again. Give up that desire completely, Queen. While talking like this, it was seen that they started moving from there. Pungazali hid herself in the bush so that they could not see her. Fortunately, they didn't get to where she was. They went in a different direction. Punguzali overheard things that upset her. Her limbs trembled when she thought of the many dangers that beset Pawnee's journey, eyes darkened throat is dry, confused. Only the thought that he had to go immediately to join the boat that he had left was painful, she hurried towards the direction from which she had left the boat. The prince was afflicted with a deadly poison. The avenger was waiting to imprison him. The killers were waiting to kill him. They were accompanied by this female demon, Mahini. Parthipendra also fell into her magical trap. They even know the hidden Mandapam where they thought they could take the prince and keep him safe. Punghuali felt that she had the responsibility to protect the prince from all these dangers. That's why her brain is confused. This was an unprecedented experience in her life. In other words, there was a panic that he had lost his way in the forest. The thought appeared that are we coming back to the place from which we started? What if the prince's enemies encounter any of them while traveling around like that? What is peace to them? How to escape from them? No, no. We are on the right track. Here is the canal. 
The place where we left the boat is in that corner. Pung Huali ran towards that place. Her chest stopped beating. Because the boat was nowhere to be found where she had left it. Oh! Where has the boat gone? Perhaps the men of Pulavetare have come here in his absence. Would they have come and imprisoned the prince and Vandiyadeva? Even if that happened, there is no harm. Could anything worse have happened? Did Vandiyathevan lift the prince and go in search of the hidden hall? So there are killers waiting there? Damn! What have we done wrong? Pungazali's mind was filled with excitement to visit that hidden hall immediately. She ran wildly. That old doubt again, doubt that we have lost our way. A sense of going round and round. What is that? Alas! What is that? Sounds like footsteps? Looks like someone is following us? Who would it be? What would it be for? Maybe the dreaded wizard? So why be afraid? If you take the knife inserted in the waist, it's gone. What if anyone? Why run? No, no. You have to run. Now is the time to fight with anyone. No pain in arm, a knife will also miss the mark. Lives must be saved at all costs. If this moment happens to us, what is the fate of the prince? Did that Vandiyathevan warn you earlier? Did we mention that we are saving lives safely? Is it necessary to fulfill it? Punguzali ran deeper and deeper into the forest. But the chaser kept coming. The birds from the trees were screaming and flying on the way to Pungujali. Foxes ran from the ramparts. The sleeping wild boars woke up and ran away. A deer came running wild and ran over her. Amidst all this, the one who followed behind was not left behind. The sound of his footsteps and the sound of his running sigh could be heard. Bungazali ran and got bored. Boredom turned into unbridled anger. She decided to give him a hand, whoever it was.